The guys you see next to me are solving one of the least sexy problems in the world. Hi, my name is Ido. Hi, my name is Humrit. But first, let me tell you what the problem is. Concrete. Not many people know this, but concrete? This rock-solid, gray, boring structure is great to build houses, but is terrible for the ocean. So if you look into places where there is concrete in the water, you'll see that marine life is suffering. The fish is no longer around, the oysters and corals are disappearing, and the concrete is lifeless for decades. And guess what? Concrete is the most consumed material in the world. After water. And that's where these guys come in to solve the lifeless concrete problem. Idu and Shimrit, two marine biologists, spent the majority of their lives researching, studying, diving, and learning about the oceans. And after many, many years, they came up with an, an amazing, amazing technology. technology. That turns concrete from this to this. It's a unique unit built with new added materials. It's designed with tiny holes for the small fish to live in them. It's eco-friendly and it's even stronger than normal concrete. So when you put this new concrete in the water for months, the most amazing thing happens. Small fish live around it, seaweed grow on top of it, corals and oysters appear around it, and marine life thrives. And all of this brings the concrete to life. You see, oysters are growing on the designs. So what you see here is uh, the biology that grow on the concrete, and it actually makes the concrete stronger, and it's called bioprotection. Lifeless oceans could turn into an amazing ecosystem for humans and animals alike. That's why these guys are designing ports, breakwaters, seabeds and seawalls that are built with the ocean in mind. It's not just beautiful, it's also good for the environment and for the concrete. Concrete is not a sexy problem, and solving it can be tough, expensive, challenging, and takes decades. But so far, Idu and Shimri installed their concrete in five different countries, in five different waters, and the results are amazing. We cast them and designed them, and they're placed in uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park in New York, where uh, they bring life to this urban environment. How did they bring life? By retaining water at low tide, they create hotspots for biology. So it's the design that makes all the difference? It's the design, the material, uh, and the composition of the surface that is make all the difference. And when they install millions more of these around the oceans, they will change the world one block at a time. See you next week.